In this lesson, we're going to learn how to draw three different types of shapes, rectangles, ovals, and arcs. For rectangles, we're going to draw one particular type of rectangle, a square. For ovals, we're going to draw one particular type of oval, a circle, and then we're going to draw a semicircle for our arc. So let's get started. I've already started the program. It's called DrawShapes.Java. Just to save us some time and drudgery for you watching me type in all this code. So let's get started on our first shape, the rectangle. We need XY coordinates just like we have for a line. So let's add some XY coordinates right now. To draw a rectangle, we call the drawRect method. And then we simply provide it with our coordinates. So let's see how that looks. Save it. Compile it. And then run it through the applet viewer. And there's our square. So now let's move to ovals. Ovals are drawn within the boundaries of a rectangle. So what we're going to do right now is draw essentially a square and then have our oval, which in this case is going to be a circle, fit inside that bounded rectangle. So the method is called draw oval and we simply provide it with our coordinates, just like we have for our other shapes. So let's save our file. Compile it, and then run it, and there you see a circle. So the circle was drawn within the boundaries of a square. So you see it's very simple to draw these shapes. It's just a matter of defining some coordinates and then calling the correct method or the method that you want. Now, to draw an arc, we provide beginning positions in the coordinate system. So we're still going to provide x1, y1, x2, y2 coordinates. But then when we call the method, we also have to provide two pieces of information, a starting angle and an angle sweep. So in other words, we want this arc to sweep 180 degrees starting at zero degrees. That would make it a semicircle. So this fifth parameter is the starting angle, and the sixth parameter is the sweep angle. So after that, we're finished, and we're ready to compile and run. So we'll compile it, and then run it. And right there, you see the semicircle, which is drawn as an arc, not a semicircle. So here's how you draw rectangles, ovals, and arcs. Again, the methodology is not complex. I would think you have a lot more trouble working with coordinates, especially if you haven't had geometry courses in a long time, than you will with the actual methods themselves because they're all very straightforward. You just have to learn what the parameters are. So that wraps up this lesson on drawing shapes. And now we're going to move to the next lesson where we're going to talk about working with colors. For example, how to create a colored line and how to fill in our shapes with colors.